All right, today we're going to be reacting to the new gameplay slash map trailer for MW3 that Sledgehammer and Call of Duty just released. Uh, so let's get right into it. For multiplayer and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, we wanted to give the player a new way to experience these classic maps. The maps look pretty good. Uh, they're super high def compared to the old ones, obviously. We're going to be making. Oh, I actually really like Invasion. I like. I really like this image of Invasion. I don't know. It's doing something to me. It kind of looks like a CS map, but. Uh, it really looks, it looks good. These maps, they lit up. They were Favela like looks good too. dibs on which ones they wanted to go get reference for. Maps really come through. They feel like they fell back then. And when you're playing high rise, when Interesting. So he says they feel like you're playing back then. Uh, I really want to know how they marry the situation between new gen Call of Duty plus these old maps. Is it really going to fit well? You know, especially for competitive, that's where my focus is going to be on. But I'm really interested to see how they can actually combine the two to see if it works. When you're playing a state, you feel really transported back. We questioned a lot of what was good about the- Oh, Underpass actually looks pretty good. You know, Underpass was one of those maps where it was really hard to see on the map because of the rain, because of the dreariness of the map. Uh, but this is a little bit more vibrant and easier to see. So I'm, I'm really actually really liking that, even if it's not going to be a comp map. Movement of older games. What was good about the gunplay of older games? And the same with the newer games. So we tried to marry a lot of those things together. The way Oh, so he, he even said like they're, they're trying to marry the two together, trying to combine it. I'm really interested to see how they are going to be able to do that. Um, but we'll see if they talk about it later on. The way we approach it is that Rust looks nice. Make these A lot best. more easy to see compared to the old Rust, obviously. Best versions of those maps that people have ever played. Because that's what we wanted. That's what we want as fans. They're I think that's interesting to note too. Like the devs are fans themselves. So um, I think it's really important to... Take it from the dev side and be like, you know, they are actually trying to create something for us uh, as fans of the game too. So it's that they're putting their passion into it, um, regardless of what you think about devs. They're trying to make the best game possible in their eyes. Places where the metrics of the level are adjusted to fit more modern gameplay, but for the most part, it's going to feel incredibly similar. The biggest interesting. So he he does say that some of the metrics of the level are going to be adjusted for the new gameplay style. Um, they, you see here the hallways are being moved outwards. Uh, I believe this is Skid Row. I really want to see how they're going to be able to do that, whether it's just, you know, expanding hallways or whether it's actually expanding full maps. Um, I, I know they're playing on the whole nostalgia factor of these old maps, but actually implementing that new gen Call of Duty style, that new faster movement style is going to be, uh, you know, super difficult in my opinion for these old maps. Uh, but we'll see how they, they do it. I, I mean, changes are really in a fidelity sense. Places like they really are trying to work with it in the best possible way. So I, I do have some faith, but it's really hard to see without actual gameplay. So uh, we'll keep that in our back mind. Afghan, where it might have been difficult to Afghan see. Afghan looks good compared to the old one. You, you, again, you're like flashbang with those yellow colors. Uh, this is a little bit more vibrant, a little bit easier to see. Both look better, but also read better so that your target acquisition is improved. Favela's map where it really pushed our opportunities to explore what you couldn't do in the old one and what you can do now. From the North Favela looks really nice. You know, I don't think it's going to be a comp map. It was never a comp map back in 2009. Maybe if only if it works in hardpoint or something. Uh, but it looks so aesthetically pleasing. Like, this is so much colors. It, it really looks like it would be a fun pub map. I have some bias because I believe Favela was where my first nuke was on. Uh, back in the old MW2, but it, it looks really, really good. Has more detail than I think any other map in High Rise. It's fun to explore. And High Rise looks great. Oh, game. we're actually getting gameplay now. This is interesting. And mantle to places that you weren't able to actually grab or reach before. So you're able to mantle to places that you're you weren't able to before, which is interesting. So that's how they're kind of implementing that new movement style but i also believe the yeah, the mantle is super when quick compared to at least mw2 this like is a super a super quick okay, mantle i'll, I'll go back there. to that when it was a question of whether it should be like the original or whether it should be more modern in terms of the metrics we went with the original and we interesting that's a that's a really good point because i think a lot of devs nowadays are just trying to create new things to create new things and the fact that he was saying they were kind of favoring the original more than the new uh, is kind of a, a good sign in my sense because I, I believe old Call of Duty was still better. We pushed very hard to make sure that that experience. Yeah, that mantle looks great. It looks so smooth. It actually, I mean, it looks like at least two times the speed of MW2's mantle. Could 
while we modernize the look of the map. I've seen. And we, we got to make sure that we're we're talking about the it. FOV here. This is, I think, 60 FOV. So once we get onto like 100, 110 FOV, possible. you're going to be seeing way, way different perspective. And it's going to look probably so much smoother. We could while we modernize the but it looks really map. good i've seen people play it for the first time and they don't really know what they're going to see and when that load screen shows up for favela or for query you side up like oh my gosh these are the maps that these all I all these maps look hoping. super good like super high def i know they're playing on that nostalgic factor of all these old maps. I wonder how it's gonna be for newer fans of the game that didn't play these maps. You know, they might be more inclined to play a little bit more than the older fans that are just relying on nostalgia because they're not getting any new sort of content with these maps because they played those maps back in the past. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how they keep that new and fresh uh, for older players that did play these maps. Hoping they would remake the whole team. I think sub base looks a lot better just because of the non blindness factor that the snow would have. I remember my first ever map that I loaded into the old MW2 and it was sub base and it felt like I just got fully flash banged uh, with all the snow whiteness of the map. Uh, so this doesn't look as vibrant as the others, uh, but it does look playable. You know, it's not going to be hard so on your eyes to bring all of these maps to fans everywhere. Interesting. So I, I guess the only gameplay that we did get was the mantling on high rise, but it did look super smooth. At least from my perspective, that mantling was so much better than MW2. And I'm hoping this improves the whole newer style gameplay. Again, my only concern is how they're going to combine that newer, faster style, new gen COD gameplay to these older maps. But you know, at least the maps look pretty decent from an aesthetic point. Uh, I really just need to see more gameplay on how well uh, these maps are actually going to fit to our game and what we're going to be playing for competitive. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.